What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. It's more fun, more excitement from the museum. Guys, we're having too much fun with these new superheroes from Mego and super villains. Guys, the Riddler is our guest here today in the MIB Master Toy Museum. Uh, beautiful Mego figure that a lot of the superhero fans have been eagerly anticipating. What's the point of having good guys if they don't have enemies? If they don't have super powered villains? Uh, the Riddler has been a staple of Mego Corp for decades. The very first one coming out in the early 1970s with the Penguin, with the Clown Prince himself, the Joker, Catwoman, you name it. Now the bad guys didn't sell as well as the as the good guys, but nevertheless, as a kid growing up. Uh, having uh, Batman and Robin, you know, I wanted the Riddler, I wanted the, the the Penguin, I wanted Joker, you know, I wanted those figures because the the the, the playtime was was so much more fun when Batman and Robin had to fight these guys. Mego has finally brought back the bad guys. And the Riddler has the, the, the honor of being the very first villain of the new waves for superheroes and villains for DC. Uh, Migos, this is Migos' first rendition of the new Riddler figure. Looks fantastic. Uh, the head sculpt is, is really fantastic. Done very well. Uh, Frank Gorshin, you know, as we know, was the, the best. He was my best, my favorite Riddler. There's a lot of people who played the Riddler, the role of the Riddler. But from the 1966 uh, classic uh, Batman TV series, Frank Gorshin was the, the Riddler. And he played it fantastically. And uh, to me... He's the reason why I, I really fell in love with the bad guys. He was more of a believable bad guy. I mean, no really known superpowers or anything like that. It's just a bad guy. <laughs> with a really cool outfit. And we'll get into a little bit of that. Um... Miko stayed true to the form of its vintage 1970s Migo uh, Riddler figure. Outside of the head sculpt, I think the, the outfit, everything, the belt, everything, the hands are pretty much the same. And I'm glad that they, they really stuck to that. And I'm sure the purists, the Migo purists, are equally as, uh, satisfied with that. But we do have a, a, a comparison, if you will here and just for um, historical purposes we have our our FTC figures toy company's uh, Riddler and here as you can see he's really true to the exact the exact specifications of what the Mego Riddler, 1970s Riddler, 
look like. Some differences with the belt, and we'll, we'll, we'll get into that as well. But the outfit, true to form. But with Migos' new uh, Riddler outfit, as you can see, it has a, a nice shiny sheen to it. Whereas the, the old outfit really didn't. More of a, a, a comical type of a, a head sculpt um, that was used for the 1970s uh, Riddler version. He actually had eyes. Our new Riddler looks um, more devious without the eyes. Like I said, it, this is a little bit more... Um, I don't know if it was more centered towards uh, Frank Gorshin, uh, uh, a, a, an honor of Frank Gorshin. I would love to know, and we'll see who the sculptor is, but I'd love to know who did, um, you know, what's, what was the thinking process? Uh, did they want to pay homage to Frank Gorshin uh, through this head sculpt? But it's beautiful. Like I say, it has a, a nice shiny sheen. The belt is plain, as you can see. Now, guys, leave your comments uh, right underneath this video. I'd like to know, is this an original belt or was this the original belt? Because everything else about this figure is dead on accurate. And Figures Toy Company did a fantastic job at really replicating that 1970s uh, Riddler. But our new, our new Riddler is equally as fantastic. I'm excited to have this figure. Uh, when when um, Migo announced that they would have the new wave of uh, superheroes, and I saw that they had the Riddler in that this particular wave with uh, Green Lantern, AKA John Stewart and the Flash. And then you had the Riddler. I said, oh, this is gonna be fantastic. So I had to have it. I love my, I love the bad guys. I don't know what that says about me, but <laughs> I always loved the bad guys as a kid growing up. I didn't have a problem with them winning. I actually like to see them win occasionally. Let's turn this card around. Then let's, let's talk a little bit about the card. The card, uh, very bland. You got the question mark here, and then you have the Riddler. Uh, I'm being told by some some of my awesome subscribers that this is really more what DC wanted rather than what Mego would have liked to have done. But this is a, one of the old um, artwork here. A lot of the the, the uh, a throwback to the old artwork for the for the Riddler. It's your blown out look at that card. This is what I would like to see on the front of the card. It's fantastic. I'm look. I'm glad it's on the card, and we'll we'll see. Uh, you know what? I'm and as I'm looking right now, I don't see any. I don't know if this is it's an error or, but I don't see any names here. Any credits? That tells us who did the head sculpt, who did the clothing. Um, that was with uh, the, the Green Lantern and the Flash figure as well. I'm curious to see, as you can see, it, it's still, they paid homage. Let's turn both of these cards around. As you can see, homage was paid because this is the, the old artwork, I believe, from the 1970s. Guys, what do you think? Our new Riddler Mego figure for 2021. Are you excited? 
Um, will you be adding Riddler to your collection, to your brand new Mego collection for 2021? We want to hear it all, guys. Let us know in the comment section right underneath this video. Guys, get over to movie posters, etc. Movie posters, etc. Guys, that's why I, I purchased this beautiful Riddler figure. He's a he's available. You can't lose, guys. Uh, this is my go-to company for Migos. I absolutely love movie posters, etc. Those guys are fantastic. Guys, more fun on the way. More excitement. More surprises. You know the routine, guys. God bless. Stay safe. And keep collecting.